Hi YouTube, welcome to Pagan Perspective. This is Megan, aka Sabirisri. Today is Friday. Hi YouTube, welcome to Pagan Perspective. I am Megan, aka Sabirisri. I am your Friday host on the Pagan Perspective, and this week we are talking about cyberbullying. And um, a lot has happened this week. <laughs> so I'm sitting here making this video um, and I'm filming a day in advance of, uh, of posting it. And for those of you who have been watching the news, uh, my guess is probably no matter what country you're in, you probably are hearing about it, uh, heard about it. It's kind of big news right now in the world. Um, the United States, which is where I live, um, I live in Maui, uh, Hawaii, uh, which is part of the United States, even though sometimes it feels like we're like another country because we're so far away. But something really, uh, really horrible and incredibly apropos to this week's topic happened on Tuesday. Uh, so this country decided that um, that through the electoral college, um, not the popular vote, however, it certainly wasn't uh, it wasn't just a handful of people. Millions of people voted for hate in this country, and that's really a that's really a scary thing for someone like myself, and maybe even for you watching, as you know, a gay person, as part of the LGBTQ community, as a pagan, part of a religious minority, as a woman. These things are not things that I should be afraid of being. Yet, because of who, who has become the new president-elect, I now have to be afraid of those things. And that's kind of sad. So this topic of... Um, of cyberbullying, in a way, I, I have felt very bullied by this man in particular. A man who has said that he would make sure to overturn Oberfell and take away my right to continue to be married to my wife. That he would that he would take away other rights of those that I love, that he would deport people from their homes and their families. So there's just a lot, there's a lot going on. And um, that bullying, and, and this, is, this is where I'm actually, I'm doing my best to keep hope and love and light alive because I think that that is so important because I feel that cyberbullying has been something, and bullying in general, has been something that in some ways we've seen an increase because of social media has allowed people more access to be able to bully. You can now be bullied by the entire world versus just who you might know in your, your town or whatever. Um, so in a way, bullying has been able to expand, however, there's also been a bit of a backlash against bullying. This idea that zero tolerance and people really calling out bullies and speaking up against them. And I've seen that a lot. Um, and my fear is that we had started to build this culture. We were starting to get toward a place. We hadn't gotten there yet, but we had those seeds. The seeds have been planted of having more love and more kindness and less tolerance for that type of behavior 
and having people realize this isn't okay. We had started to get to that place. You know, we were on the verge. And I worry, I worry now, not that we can't still continue down that road, but I worry that having, having this man in this figurehead position of power, because in reality, it is a lot of a figurehead. You know, really the House and the Senate are the ones with the most control, which is what makes Tuesday even more terrifying, is that the House and the Senate both went Republican, which, um, which is scary, <laughs> which is really scary. Um, the United States... It's a country that ideally was founded on checks and balances. And right now, there is no check and balance. Um, one party is in, or will be, January 20th, will be in total control of our government. Now, that being said, we have a few recourses. And I can, I can get into all that at a different time, I guess, but... I'm worried that this figurehead who unapologetically takes racism, bigotry, misogynism, hate in general to the masses, he, he doesn't give a flying beep. I mean, no, he doesn't give a flying fuck, and I'm sorry. I'm so sorry for, for any young ones that are watching. I'm sorry, but I feel like that, it's just you need that word sometimes <laughs> to really have the impact of what has happened here. Um, and I fear that he is going to create a space for the millions of people who who wouldn't have necessarily done something or said something because of the social pressure around them, they might have been assholes, <laughs> but they might not have, have done anything about it, said anything or bullied somebody before because there was this growing social movement against it of this zero tolerance for it. And now he's giving these people this carte blanche to say it's okay to hate. And, and that's scary. You know, I really hope that in light of this, the pagan community in particular really comes together because we have a little bit of cyberbullying in our community. We absolutely do. Even some in-person bullying. But definitely in cyberbullying, there is, there's, there's a lot of shaming, I think, in the pagan community. You're not pagan enough, you're not light enough, you're not dark enough, oh, you don't do shadow work, you don't, <laughs> it's like, come on, people, <laughs> we hurt such a marginalized group already, why, why would we hurt each other, why would we say anything negative to each other, I, I have been bullied on this channel, I mean, I can't tell you the number of times that I look, and there is a negative, a down vote on one of my videos, literally within seconds of me putting it up. There's no way they could have even watched the video. There's not enough time, but they instantly dislike it. And it's like, really? Like, I get it. You don't like the video? Totally. All right, fine. Downvote it. That's, that's your prerogative. At least watch it before you downvote it. I mean, maybe they just don't like my hair. Who knows? But it's, to me, that's bullying. Like, watch the video. Actually, like, and if you don't like it, don't watch. If you, I'm sorry, but if you are a diehard religious zealot who thinks what I do is wrong, okay? Or what we do on this channel is wrong. Why watch? This is a free country. Yes, sure, you can watch and you can downvote if you want. Yes, you're right, it is a free country. But why? Why would you do something like that? Why would you intentionally do something hurtful or mean. I mean, I, I can't even tell you, I don't even know whose religion. I, I can't even think of a religion that says it's, it is a mandate. You have to be intentionally mean. I, I just, I can't help but think when I, I look at people who say, you know, 
I want to be more Christ-like. And then they go and judge, 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 shame, shame, shame. You're going to hell. Like, like, no. <laughs> Christ-like and I'm going to judge you. Really? No. I don't think so. Sorry, this is getting me all worked up. You know, it's, there are a lot of emotions flying around and it's a scary time. I feel so, so lucky that my wife and I moved to Hawaii when we did. We are on an island of forward thinkers and liberalism, which is good. It's good for us. I am so scared for my brothers and my sisters and my fellow humans who have to live in places that overwhelmingly voted this man into office because it's going to be a scary, scary life for a little while. And I do say a little while because we, we might not have won this battle, but we can win the war. Two years. That's it. Two years until the midterms. And at the midterms, we can take back the Senate. Once we take back the Senate, we can breathe easier. It's not perfect, but we can breathe a little easier. That's what we need. And then two more years. So just two more years to the Senate and then two more. And, and then we have a chance of really, really, bringing love back into this country. So, my idea on cyberbullying is reach out, have a support system. There are so many people right now who are saying, I will stand with you. If you need to go to the bathroom, I will go with you. If you need to walk to your car, I will go with you. I will stand beside you. Do that for each other. That is so important. Stand with your friends, stand with people. You see somebody sitting there alone being a target of harassment, go talk to them. Just strike up a conversation. Do you know how hard it is for somebody to harass somebody if they think there's more than one person there? If they think they're with somebody else, they tend to leave them alone. Not always, but that small thing can help. Just go over and strike up a conversation. Maybe I like your shirt, <laughs> you know? Just something. Stand with each other. That's how we get rid of bullying, by standing together. So that is all for today because I'm just going to be a wreck if I keep going. So anyway, I hope you all have a phenomenal rest of your week. Be kind. Be kind to each other. Spread love as far as you possibly can. And as always, guys, blessed be and... Aloha.